While a lot has changed over the last 30 years, the entrance and exit ramp on board the USS Lexington have not. Now, we're also talking about the long ramp on the side of the ship, but back on November 14th, 1992, walking through this entrance, it just meant more. On dedication day, guests arriving for the dedication of the floating museum were greeted by patriotic music, courtesy of the Veterans Band. And the list of special guests was a who's who of the ship's long naval history. It included more than 1,700 former crew members, among them 200 who had served during World War II. They were identifiable by the distinctive blue caps they wore. And they were given a shout out by the president of the Lady Lex Museum on the Bay Association. The special guest speaker for the event, retired Navy Commander Alex Varashu, an ace Hellcat pilot who flew off the Lexington during World War II. In fact, he was credited with shooting down dozens of enemy aircraft, including six on June 19, 1944, the first day of the Battle of the Philippines. All six planes were shot down in a span of just eight minutes. The battle became known as the Marianas Turkey Shoot. Also on hand, Hugh Winters commander of the Air Group 19 that was stationed on the Lex during World War II. That squadron was credited with sinking four Japanese aircraft carriers. Winters himself was a fighter ace with eight confirmed Japanese planes downed. Also at the dedication was the very first air officer aboard the Lex when she was commissioned and the pilot who made the very last landing on the Lexington. She was the 493,248th arrested landing on the carrier, a U.S. Navy record that will likely never be broken. More than 3,800 people were on hand as the Navy handed command of the historic ship to the city of Corpus Christi. Planes no longer land on the Lex, but in the 32 years since it was officially dedicated, more than 9 million visitors have come aboard. You know, it's still one of the top tourist attractions in the state of Texas. And next week, contributor Robert Parks is going to explain why expanding the exhibit helps keep it one of the top tourist attractions in the city of Corpus Christi. By the way, if you want to learn more about the USS Lexington, you can click on the QR code you see on your screen, or you can go to our website, christtv.com, and click on the Coastal Bend History tab. Until then, I'm Andy Lascano.